You know, I was pretty surprised when I heard that Nature Boy had received life without the possibility of parole. The judge said that he gets life plus 10 days, or was it 10, 10 months or something like that? But he got life plus without the possibility of parole. That was mind blowing to me. And I hope that when Polite, when his trial comes up, I don't think that would happen to Polite. But we've all watched Nature Boy and their little occult or whatever they're doing. And they were warned. These were people that were willing participants. None of them were there that did not want to be there. As a matter of fact, there were times that Nature Boy would tell them like, look, I would take you to the airport. I would take you to the bus station and send you home if you don't want to be here. And there are some that have left and come back. Like Velvet, his baby mama. And they threw him under the bus. They played that damsel in distress role. They actually played that Karen role. And even I had to say myself, when I was listening to that trial, I even had to say myself, wow, they're throwing this man under the bus. They got on their fake crying and playing victim. And this man got life and you can see him on video, and he was even shocked. And watching the judge, you could tell the judge is a feminist because as they were telling a story, she was disgusted by that. Now, I don't agree with Nature Boy and his whole belief system. I have made videos and I spoke out against Nature Boy I also spoke out against those young people that were willfully going there, okay? Like Velvet, she turned on her own dad. Some of these young people turned on their own families and their families were telling them not to go. Their families were trying to talk them out of that and they were going against their family. And Velvet was talking about, you know, Babylon and not going back to Babylon. And now she's played the victim role. She played the damsel in distress role. And this man got life without the possibility of parole. And it was also an issue too where the judge had COVID. She had COVID and refused to um, suspend court date. So then he didn't feel comfortable being there now from watching Nature Boy. He was the kind of person that talked about eating healthy, being healthy, not eating certain foods. So I would expect him to not wanna be in a place where he can get sick, especially something with COVID. Like I had COVID and I was sick for over a month and it's no joke at all. But this judge is talking about, well, we have an air filter in here. Uh, we, we're given masks. They did not cancel that court date. So maybe he's got a chance to, um, try to do it again, you know, maybe he can go back if he can find the attorney to represent him. But they made it seem like he was a monster. And he was in his own way, but I don't think he raped anybody. I don't think he raped those girls, man. Velvet, she left and came back. I remember when he got into, um, a dispute with Velvet and she was the violent one. She was the aggressive one. 
We all saw this on a video. She was the aggressive one, right? And then the neighbors got involved and whatnot. And the one girl was walking down the street. She was going to walk home. And he was like, nah, I don't want you to do that. Come back. You know, I'll make sure you get home. Nature Boy didn't do those things that they're accusing him of. Now, as far as the revenge porn, what they call revenge porn, there were videos put out where these females were willing participants, man. They were, they were, they made these videos. It was Velvet and it was one of those other females that was in a video with Nature Boy. Okay. They were there willfully. Okay. So he didn't forcibly take nothing. These females gave it up. And there were, there were videos, man, like where he took some of these dudes, women, you know, the, the females wanted to be with Nature Boy. He didn't rape them. But I just, I just thought it was mind blowing. And I'm going to do a video. Um, I'm going to do another video when I got time. Um, but Nature Boy did not do the things that they claim he did. Right. He just didn't seem like that kind of dude. Now, I mean, he was into both male and female. You know, Nature Boy was into both male and female. And I made videos about Nature Boy. I made videos about Velvet. And we all talked about how foolish they were, but they refused to leave. Even when he told them, I will take you to the airport and make sure that you get back home. They didn't want to leave. And the ones that did leave end up coming back. Right. So that was mind blowing. It was just crazy, man, how these females just like turned their backs on him and threw him completely under the bus. And when he was given a chance to speak uh, from the prison, he stood up and all he said was, hey, I forgive you. I see what you're trying to do. Um, and I don't blame him because. I mean, the chips were stacked against him anyway, you know, regardless. And even when the judge asked for leniency, um, the judge was saying like, well, he didn't show any type of remorse. Right. And I thought, I felt that she was only taking revenge out on him because of the fact that he brought up the fact that she was COVID positive and he wanted to, um, What's the term they call it? He he wanted to um, arraign the, the, the court date for another day. You know, he wanted to do it another day. I forgot the term for it, right? But I think she was vengeful. And I think she's a feminist. And you got these females crying and playing the victim. And notice Velvet didn't say that much. But she threw him under the bus. And now this dude's got life, man, without the possibility of parole. That is madness. Look, brothers, listen, I know a lot, a lot of y'all out there that you believe in polygamy, right? But with the mindset of females nowadays, it's not even worth it. It's a trap, man. It's a trap because you talk about you're a polygamist and you got all these wives and you got your little cult thing going on. And when things don't go their way or you guys have a falling out, guess what they're going to do? They're going to play victim. They're going to play damsel in distress and they're going to make you look like a monster. And like I said, I can't see Nature Boy doing the things that they said that he did. Now, as far as releasing those tapes, I don't know. I didn't see him. But at the same time. Uh, this was all consensual, man. This is all consensual. These females and males were there because they wanted to be there. They went against their family's wishes, especially Velvet. When her dad actually came there, her father came there and she didn't leave with her father. She completely disrespect her father. And now her father has passed away. But when her father came there, she completely disrespected him in front of Nature Boy. So Velvet is not a victim, man. These females are not a victim at all. 
They're Karens. They're playing that damsel in distress role. But I'm going to speak on this uh, later in another video. Um, and I'll be on camera. So feedback. Tell me what you think about this. But I think he should appeal this. You know, I think he really should appeal this man because this dude don't deserve life in prison. He really don't. So feedback. Tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.